Hi everyone. This time, we will learn about how to draw wireways and modify ducts. Competitors will understand KNX actuator types and conduct wiring. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, check the interconnection diagrams of every KNX device and figure out how to do the wiring. Check currently used KNX actuator types in electrical installations. Second, workers can arrange KNX device in the distribution board and do the wiring. Check the interconnection diagrams of switch actuator, dimming actuator, and shutter actuator and do the wiring. Please double check preparations in detail and personal protective equipment to be ready for the task. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. First, check circuit diagrams of each KNX actuators and check how to do the wiring. If wiring is done incorrectly, lights may not turn on under program operation. Second, the KNX cable which will be connected to KNX connector is a solid cable, so if you try to remove it by pulling it, it might be broken inside the connector instead of being pulled. Therefore, rotate the cable in the left and right direction to easily remove the cable. Third, the KNX devices are hard to find domestically as well as expensive, so it is recommended to use hand tools instead of mechanical drills. By using the accurate terminals, try to maintain the durability of devices. Have a look at what we're going to do in this training. Let us configure the switch actuator. Fixing the device. Fix the circuit breaker. KNX power supply, switch actuator and terminal block to the channel. Connect the terminal block jumper to the terminal block. Attach labels to the terminal block. Connection wiring. Cut the main circuit wire into an appropriate length to make the grounding point. Connect the main circuit wire to the circuit breaker and the terminal block. The power should be wired based on three phase 220 volts. For the connection of the auxiliary circuit, cut the wire into an appropriate length to make the grounding point and then connect. Conduct wiring to turn on the lamp.
When connecting wiring, be careful of error in the grounding point and the wiring. Arranging wires. Arrange the connected wires with ties. Connecting KNX bus communication cable. Connect KNX bus communication cable to KNX power supply and switch actuator. When separating cable from the terminal, do not pull on the cable by force. Instead, while holding the terminal tight, twist the cable left and right to separate. Clean up the surroundings. Tidy up the surroundings and clean up. Remove the debris from wire modification cleanly. Let us configure the dimming actuator. Fixing the device. Fix the circuit breaker, KNX power supply, dimming actuator and terminal block to channel. Connect the terminal block jumper to the terminal block. Attach labels on the terminal block. Connection wiring. Cut the main circuit wire into an appropriate length to make the grounding point. Connect the main circuit wire to the circuit breaker and the terminal block. The power should be wired based on three-phase, 220 volts. For the connection of the auxiliary circuit, cut the wire into an appropriate length to make the grounding point and then connect. Arranging wires. Arrange the connected wires with ties.
connecting KNX bus communication cable. Connect KNX bus communication cable to KNX power supply and dimming actuator. Clean up the surroundings. Tidy up the surroundings and clean up. Remove the debris from wire modification cleanly. Let us configure the shutter actuator. Fixing the device. Fix the circuit breaker, KNX power supply, shutter actuator and terminal block to channel. Connect the terminal block jumper to the terminal block. Attach labels on the terminal block. Connection wiring. Cut the main circuit wire into an appropriate length to make the grounding point. Connect the main circuit wire to the circuit breaker and the terminal block. The power should be wired based on three-phase 220 volts. For the connection of the auxiliary circuit, cut the wire into an appropriate length to make the grounding point and then connect. Arranging wires. Arrange the connected wires with ties. Connecting KNX bus communication cable. Connect KNX bus communication cable to KNX power supply and dimming actuator. Clean up the surroundings.
tidy up the surroundings and clean up. Remove the debris from wire modification cleanly. Complete and fix the KNX. Configure switch actuator, dimming actuator, shutter actuator according to the screen to complete KNX. Lastly, fix the completed KNX. Attach KNX to the distribution panel and fix. Please check again the key points of the task we've done in this training. So far, we have learned about how to draw wireways and modify ducts. Thank you for your hard work.